Hello friends and welcome back to another meal prep what's for dinner video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you four easy and delicious sheet pan meals. If you don't know what a sheet pan meal is, it's basically just a meal that can be all cooked on one baking tray, which makes for such an easy cleanup and an amazing mix of flavors. Now, all four of today's recipes can be frozen. So if your kids are picky and won't eat these meals, it doesn't matter. They are still great ideas to make ahead. They're so full of veggies and high in protein, which makes for such a quick easy meal to pull out of the freezer for yourself at any time. So if you love meal prepping so that you can eat a little healthier than the rest of the family who are a little more pickier, including the husbands, then definitely, definitely still make these meals, chuck them in the freezer and they are so, so tasty. Now, before we get into the recipes, I just wanted to quickly introduce myself to those of you who are new. First of all, if this is the first video you are seeing of mine, hello and welcome. I am so, so happy to have you here. My name name is Katrina and I share new videos every single week, mostly to do with food or cleaning. So lots of grocery hauls, meal prep, dinner ideas and cleaning motivation. It would mean the world to me if you could hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications if that is something you are interested in watching. Subscribing is completely free. I'm not sure if everybody knows that, but it is so free. It just tells YouTube that you like my content and to share it with more people. And while you are there, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Now I've just gone ahead and chopped up a great green capsicum for this recipe and about 200 grams of mushrooms. Then I'm going ahead and adding some of these pre-sliced frozen onions. Y'all know that I do not like to cut up my own onions. And then I've just gotten this beef stir fry already cut up for me and I'm just throwing that on top. Now this recipe can also, um, I think most of these recipes can also be done as a one pot recipe on the stove, uh, but I just don't like to be sitting there mixing it up a lot, making sure that the bottom doesn't burn. It's just much easier for me to chuck these on a sheet pan and throw them straight in to the oven and just not have to worry about it. So then I'm just adding some extra virgin olive oil to the top of all of this, although I'm not really sure it needed it. A bit of spray oil probably would have been best. And then I'm just adding on my absolute favorite seasoning to the top, which is all-purpose seasoning in the pepper. And I'm just giving that a fair amount on top of there and putting that in the oven on 180 for about half an hour. So this is what it looks like once it's cooked. I've just gone ahead and thrown that in a bowl so that I can serve up dinner. Now, when I first brought these rolls, if you saw my grocery haul for this one, which I will link in the description box down below, I did mention that I wanted crunchy rolls, but they were sold out and I got left with these hot dog rolls. Now, the funny thing is since then, I've been doing my research and I actually found out that Philly cheesesteaks were actually invented by a man who sold hot dogs on the side of the street and he just got sick of hot dog meat and decided to buy himself this mix one day, cooked it up, ate it and someone loved the smell and asked him to make them and ever since it has now become a very popular recipe so I've just gone ahead and added some grated cheese and that cheese topper sauce to the top and they turned out delicious. Now this next recipe is sheet pan sausage and veg. Now for this one I'm just going ahead and chopping up one yellow capsicum one red capsicum. I'm also going to be using those leftover mushrooms from the last recipe. I will also be adding some sweet potato and zucchini. Now you can add whatever vegetables you like on this tray meal. That is the good thing about them. You can really just throw any extra veggies on here before they go bad and it will normally work out. But I know for sure that all the vegetables that I am putting on cook really well in the oven and taste great. So I can't vouch for any other vegetables that you are going to put in and for the times it may take to cook but if you are using any of these ones that I am using, they will cook perfectly. So now that all the vegetables are prepped and ready to go, I'm just going to be adding on these super cute chipolata sausages to the top of this. Now you could get normal sausages and cut them up yourself. You could use hot dogs here. I'm not a fan of hot dogs, but you could really use 
any sausages you like here. I'm sure they would cook a lot better if you cut them up. I did have to flip these sausages halfway through to make sure that they browned on both sides, but you can just leave them in there. They will still cook through. They just won't be brown on the bottoms. So I've just gone ahead and paired this with some Uncle Ben's special fried rice that just went in the microwave for 90 seconds. Super easy. I'm all about making dinner time easy. And then I've just gone ahead and added those vegetables and sausages to the bowl. And as I said earlier, this meal is freezable and such an awesome meal, healthy to have in the freezer ready to pull out for lunch or dinner whenever you need a quick healthy meal. So this third sheet pan recipe I am sharing with you is an absolute classic. I've been making this one for years. It is definitely the easiest and quickest of the four recipes here today and is always my go-to if I am meal prepping for my own meals ahead of time for the week. My family are huge carb lovers so sometimes I like to prep my own healthier meals on the side because I seem to be the only one in my family that cannot burn carbs off easily. So it's as simple as dicing up a few sweet potatoes and then adding some chicken breast to the center of the tray and then broccoli to the other side of the tray. Now I use frozen vegetables most of the time. The frozen ones have the same if not more nutrition in them so don't worry about getting them frozen. It is totally a smart idea and it also makes them last so much longer. So once I have all of that onto the tray I'm just going ahead and adding on some olive oil to the top and then of course it wouldn't be my favorite meal without my favorite seasonings added to the top and that is the all-purpose seasoning in the pepper. Then I'll just be putting all that in the oven on 180 for about 30 to 40 minutes times and temperatures will vary depending on your oven and where you are in the world. I know that not everyone works with degrees. A lot of people work with Fahrenheit. So you will need to use Google to help you out with the different temperatures and stuff. But now that this is all cooked up, I'm just going ahead and dicing up that chicken and going to be serving that over some rice. So this fourth recipe I'm sharing with you all is called sheet pan shrimp fajitas. This is very similar to chicken fajitas but it is using shrimp. No one else in my family except for myself like shrimp. So this is purely going to be used for my dinner and then I'm going to be freezing the rest for easy quick lunches throughout the week. So for this one, I'm just going ahead and chopping up one green bell pepper or capsicum, whichever you call it, and one red one. And then I'm going ahead and chopping up one red onion. Now you won't see me cutting onions up on this channel very often. As I said earlier, and in a lot of my videos, my grocery hauls, and food prep. I do not like cutting up onions. I can't say it enough, but I did it today and I instantly regretted it. I think it was at this moment. I'd only just gotten the skins off to cut them up and I was already crying. So I went ahead and got that cut up. I won't be doing that again. I will be just adding the pre-chopped white onions from my freezer section at my local. And then I am just adding in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil to the top of that. And then I'm also going to be adding in all of my spices. Now for this one, I am adding in one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of paprika powder, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, and one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. Of course, this goes in all of my dishes. I absolutely love that one. And of course, one teaspoon of chili powder. Now, I probably would only put half a teaspoon of this in in the future. This was very spicy, but I used some ranch dressing to cool it down a bit. And then I'm adding in this Australian raw prawn meat. Now, this confused me so much when I was making this because from my knowledge, I always thought that raw prawns were green and if they were cooked, they were red. So I thought maybe it was a mispackaging or something. But then, of course, I did my research and just a fun fact here, these are actually called royal red prawns and they aren't found everywhere. Let me know in the comments down below if you have had these before, but they are actually red when they are raw. So it is very hard to tell when they are cooked, which is not good for me. But if you need to know how to cook these, you can find it on Google, but basically you just need to wait until they curl up a fair bit and they also shrink down a fair bit. So that will be an easy way for you to tell that these ones are cooked, but I was so confused for so long about this one. And then I'm just putting this onto the tray nice and easy. My shrimp are frozen straight from the freezer. You do not have to defrost them. It will make the cooking time quicker, but you really don't have to. And these went in for about half an hour on 180, just like the rest of the recipes. And they came out absolutely delicious. As you'll see, they've gotten a lot smaller. And I'm just going to be heating up a wrap now to put them on. And once that's heated up, I'm just adding some lettuce to the bottom here. 
are. I'm going to be adding my mixture to the top and then adding some ranch dressing on top of that. These were delicious. I hope you got some value or great ideas from watching my video today. I loved sharing these sheet pan meals with you all. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and want to see more. And of course, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications. I hope to see you back here for my next video. I hope you are all having a fantastic week and I will see you all in the next one.